let's get started. So um, Janice told you a little bit about me, so we're good to go there. We're going to talk about hard to hoop items in embroidery. How many of you um, have some items that you'd like to embroider, but you really don't know how? Yeah. I like a challenge. So I, I'll walk around stores a lot of the times, and I'll just think to myself, because I'm kind of weird sometimes, hmm, I think I can embroider that. Walk around. Yeah, I can do that. So, um, and that was the case with some of the items that I have here. Um, I've pulled some items from Janice's store here, and um, I, I think they're great. Um, okay, so one of the things, uh, when I go to hoop something that's difficult to hoop, my go-to stabilizer that I want to go to is a sticky stabilizer. A lot of times, that's what gets me through. And uh, Floriani has a sticky stabilizer um, that I really, 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 really like. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Let me turn this off while I'm... Okay, how's that? Okay, it's around the front, but we'll try to make do. Okay, so the sticky stabilizer. So like I said, Floriani has a stabilizer. It's perfect stick. I really, really, really enjoy the stabilizer. You can get it in different widths. This is the, the widest here. Um, the way this works is you actually roll it out on top of the bottom part of your hoop. If, okay, so first off, how many of you have um, like a flatbed machine, like a Destiny? Okay, most of you do. Okay, how many of you have a multi-needle? Okay, quite a few of you have multi-needles. Okay, all right, so we're going to, because the majority of you have a flatbed machine, that's what I have at home, so that's what I'm most comfortable with as far as, not really most comfortable with, but I'm really good at getting things into that machine, okay? So whenever you're um, using your Perfect Six Stabilizer, you have the bottom part of your hoop, okay? You have the outer part and then you have the inner part. So we're gonna start with the outer part and you lay your perfect stick over top of it and then put the inner part of your hoop in and go ahead and hoop the stabilizer alone. This is all that you hoop inside of it, okay? So let me go ahead and grab a piece and do that. I conveniently have a piece cut. <laughs> Let me come over to you. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, this uh, paper can be a little stiff at first, so you just want to loosen your hoop up a little bit, that screw. All right. Make sure the inner part of your hoop is pressed all the way down and is flush with the back part of your hoop. And then I like to really snug that screw in and then for those of you that know about it, you may not. The three-in-one screwdriver, I really, really, really enjoy this. There are other ones available from Baby Lock, but you can simply just put this on to your screw, and it makes it really easy to screw your hoop on. Okay. Not until I can't do it anymore, just I wouldn't say I'm this really, really strong, but uh, I don't want to strip the screw just for it's snug, just really, really snug. Is that the tear -away stabilizer? This is a tearaway stabilizer. It is. Okay, so once I get that hooped, what I like to do is I take something sharp like a seam ripper. You can use a stiletto as well, and I score the top layer because this is just like a sticker on a roll. So you just hoop it in the hoop, and you're going to score that top film 
and you're going to reveal the sticky of the stabilizer. And the reason that you don't peel off the protective film before you hoop. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we, we pretty much all know why. And you admit to that? <laughs> That's right. That's kind of like the, um, the directions on the iron. Uh, take your clothes off before you iron. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> um, in, in my travel so far, I am... Um, I'm, sometimes I'm lucky to get to stay into dealers' homes, and uh, we had an event. So all the ironing boards in the in the lady's home were at the store, and uh, and she asked. She said, "Oh, I hope you don't have to iron any of your clothes um, for the next morning." And I'm like, um, "I do." <laughs> she said, "Well, just wear your clothes uh, to the store and just press them once you get there." <laughs> so here I am standing in the middle of the store. Just steaming myself. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know that Steve would like that. <laughs> okay, and I'm using my um, my seam ripper to just kind of pull up the stabilizer. And because you are all are watching, it has it isn't coming up like it usually does. But you know what? We're going to work through this, right? Yeah. All right. There you go. I like to keep it real. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now it's sticky. Yay. All right. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about, I actually want to hoop something here. You know what, let's just take this off. Okay, much better. All right. So how about this bag, this little cosmetic bag? Anybody ever tried to embroider one of these before? Okay, well, I did it just before I came. And I did it with this 5 by 7 hoop with the Destiny 2 and my sticky stabilizer. All right. Are you prepared to be amazed? All right, so what I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So I've turned it right side out or wrong side out. And uh, all I'm going to do, and luckily, the size of this bag just so happens to fit right into my hoop. I don't really have to line anything up. Okay, so all I'm going to do, it never happens, right? So now I've just stuck that to my hoop. And I really enjoy my flower head pins. And I have some for embroidery because I do bend them sometimes so that I can get them in and then kind of bend them back up through. I, I like to be really safe when I'm embroidering and make sure nothing comes out. So I'm just going to put this in. I don't know if you can see this, where I'm putting it. I'm just putting it along my seam line. Let's see. This is, let's see here. Okay, anyways, let me turn it around here because I can't, I'm making myself feel drunk. Okay, <laughs> so I'm just pinning. I'm just going to pin it to the hoop, okay? So bear with me for a moment. Well, I do trust the sticky. It's just that once this goes into the machine, um, it can get caught on something and I don't want it to rip up. So I 
get in here. And I usually pin on the top and the bottom and each side because this is a tearaway stabilizer, so it, it'll tear away pretty easily. Okay, and so, and before I actually would hoop this, I would have measured this and, and seen how long I could make my name or my monogram, whatever I was going to put on here, and how tall to make it. And I believe as long as I stay under six inches on that, I'm good. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go into the machine. I'm just going to show you how I do this. All right, go into my fonts. going on and I aim to please so let's start with a V <laughs> there we go all right so I've left this at the large size and if you look at the top of my screen um, next to my hoops, it tells me that my design is 5.2 inches long by 1.18 inches tall. I'm okay with that. So I touch set. I told you I was okay with that, but I'm not. There we go. Oh, you most certainly so. Let's see here. We're going to rotate it like this because I've actually hooped with my zipper to the right hand side so once I slide it in I, that that's how I want Vicky to be on my um, my hoop right not upside down okay so now I just squish it all down and slide it in be very careful for those of us that have the automatic needle threaders be very careful don't snag anything on that and and pull that down but I know a guy that can fix that <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just kind of lovingly pull the excess that I don't want to get stitched down <coughs> to the hoop out of the way. And uh, because I, I feel like I'm an expert on this because I've done one, uh, I, uh, I'm not going to see, um, make sure that everything's centered, okay? I feel like I've done a pretty good job of this. And I have purple thread. Vicki, are you okay with purple? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm just going to lower my foot after I progress the design to embroidery. And this is pretty much the only thing that I'm going to embroider in this whole class. We're just After we embroider this, it's not going to take very long, five minutes, and then we're going to talk about all kinds of other different things, okay? <laughs> oh, I can see a problem. I've messed up now. Um, I'll just take a little bit of time and tell you something funny. There is actually a, uh, a YouTube skit. It's a Comedy Central skit, and um, it's if you'll go on YouTube and type A-A-R-O-N, um, there can be some language in it, but it's, it's, a, it's a substitute teacher. He comes in, and he's calling Roe, and he mispronounces everyone's name. So like Jacqueline is Jay Quellen. Um, <laughs> Denise is D-Nice. You're right. That's right. And that's right. A-A-R-O-N. Just type A A Ron. So Aaron is A A Ron, and so A A Ron, you know, corrects this teacher for the last time, and he's had enough, and he says, "You done messed up, A A Ron." <laughs> so I've already messed up. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're ready to go. And you want to keep your hands out of the way. Mm-hmm. Vinyl. Well, it's kind of clothy in a way, but yeah, inside's vinyl, outside is kind of a cloth, some sort of cloth. Yes. <laughs> I think we're talking Christmas here. 
Okay. Well, I, I bought them. Okay, one of the educators at Baby Like Tech, she was getting ready to go on a cruise with Missy Billingsley. So she bought a bunch of these, and she bought too many. And so she sold them to us. I can ask her where she got these because, I, like I said, I bought a bunch of them for Christmas gifts. But I keep finding stuff to put in them, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's, it's not really my type of bag, but you can fit a bunch of stuff in here. I mean, I have a lot of the Destiny 2 accessories in here. Yeah. And I had to put it in bright red so that I could find it. <laughs> These blanks? Okay. Me? I do not have a website yet. I'm working on it. I do have a, a Facebook page. It's called The Unlimited Bobbin. The Unlimited Bobbin. Basically, all I have on my Facebook page now is just updates on my travels. Because I'm so new, I'm, I'm working on everything. It takes a little bit of time. I could, yes. Yes. I'm going to have so many Facebook friends. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Anita Good Design carries a lot of those um, in the hoop bags. And actually, uh, for those of you that have the Destiny 2, you can even make your own in the hoop bags. I mean, if you know the process of how the bags are made, you can very easily do that. Exactly. You just have that opportunity. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying here. What now? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, how did I know? Okay, so that takes some, some real skill. I mean, it really does. You have to really, you really have to think. And, and some, a lot of times, I'm surprised I didn't mess this up. I really am, because uh, I'm used to messing things up like this. So on the bag, you want your words to, you want the top of your name or whatever to be towards the zipper, because that's the top of the bag. So I knew that I wanted the bulk of my bag towards the outside of my hoop. Everybody stay calm. Did you see how I, I did that? Did not pull it backwards. I'm trying to make friends with this guy back here. OK, this brings up a good point. After I thread this needle, I can go back stitches, okay? Most of you are aware of that, but for those newbies, these machines are very easy. It just makes life so easy. Okay, so I'm going to, if you can see the screen here, this icon here with the needle and the minus and the plus, I touch that. And I usually like to go back about 10 or 20 stitches, so let's go back one, 10, and then 10 again. Okay. And then I can actually turn on my laser beam. And I don't know if you can see that. I'll get my hand out of the way. Can You probably can't, but there it is. Yeah. Yeah. is this, that's yeah. nice, OK? I know that nothing has shifted, all right, just in case your needle broke. or and it, it, It's peace of mind for me, because I have all these tools in this machine. I can know, OK, man, I'm going to be right back on track, and everything's going to look professional. All right, so now I'm ready to go. I cleared that screen out. Touch the go button. And we're off again. 
everyone, does everyone know why you want to back up stitches? Yeah. So you don't have a blank space. <laughs> what now? They're hollering, take it off. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Gosh. I told myself I'm not going to be nervous this morning. I'm not going to be nervous. You're making me nervous. <laughs> My face has turned red. What now? <laughs> I put on a good show. Okay, we're almost finished. <laughs> it about did last night when I was driving. I told myself, I'm, I'm definitely not Tennessee anymore. <laughs> West Tennessee. I'm from West Tennessee. Um, I'm literally between Nashville and Memphis. Okay. Mm -hmm. What now? Sometimes I do. I'm from Tater Town. <laughs> Literally, I am. Um, the city that I live in is called Gleason, and uh, we're known for our sweet potatoes, and we have a Tater Town parade. <laughs> there you go. Well, at least, are they normal potatoes? Well, because um, there are some things you can make with potatoes. <laughs> really? Wow. Okay. Our eye is almost finished. Pedal to the metal. Most of the time. And, um, but on items like this right here, it would be a, a really smart and safe idea to slow the machine down, especially if you're going to have your hands in. Yeah, because no one has ever um, stitched their finger, right? Yes, she does. I actually have some, and I'm going to talk about them. She really does have the best customers in the world. They know where everything's at. I should just ask you guys, uh, where is such and such located in the store? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now I'm just tearing my bag out of the hoop. Turn it right side out. Yeah, right. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta look first. Okay, so there we are. It was automatic. Mm -hmm. Now, in this machine, I could have increased my stitch density if I wanted to. 
you can trim your own threads. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> That's right. I just bought my nice machine gun pants. All right. So, any questions about what I just did? All right. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so um, I went to Walmart last night. I just wasn't pleased with what I had. I was like, I want to talk about more. Okay, so this is just an inexpensive little pot holder. Okay, um, you could. I was thinking, okay, Christmas gifts. I've seen on uh, like Pinterest and things where you can sew these up, and you could put like a little initial here and put a spatula in here and then include a, a little um, recipe or something. So there you go. So that's another little idea. What now? There you go. Eyeglasses, scissors. There you go. There you go. And in this instance here, I would you just use my um, probably a five by seven hoop, depending on what size initial I wanted to put on, and just stick it to the hoop. What's the idea? Well, I usually don't use one of those. But. <laughs> What now? What now? No, the orange is not a pocket. Yeah. I was kind of hoping it would be. Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't. Sure. Sure you could. Yeah. Okay. You could embroider on it if it was a pocket. Okay. Now on something this small, um, you probably wouldn't be able to get into the pocket even on a, um, a free arm machine because of the size of the arm. Now, your alternatives are taking a seam ripper and just barely taking out just, a, just enough stitches just to get it laid open and laid flat onto your hoop. Okay? So let me just, well, I can't really. Anyways, if, if it had a pocket on here, you would want to just pull it out and just lay it flat. Okay? Yeah. Yes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Um, this machine, any, I haven't put anything under this machine that it hasn't sewed through yet, including my finger. Okay? And, um, I've been really, really pleased. These machines have great penetrating power. So, you know, I, I trust these machines with all my heart. Well, um, I think I mentioned um, at my last, uh, no, it wasn't. Not, not, that was the last event. Okay, so I run off and, and I leave these machines running. You know, some people might not agree with that, but I do. I'll walk out, off to different parts of the house and, and just let, if it has a problem, it's going to stop and let me know. And I have in, in been pinched for time and just completely left the house. I have. I have. Not the greatest thing. It was just doing something flat. You know, I didn't have to watch it. And uh, I made sure it had a full bobbin and, and just uh, went on with my life. And I came back and it was finished. I was like, well, thank you very much, Destiny. How thoughtful of you. You know? Okay. So, and this machine, I know we're talking about hard-to-hoop items, but this machine makes items easy, okay, because it is able to scan things in. So I thought to myself last night, I thought, self, okay, you have this kind of cute, you know, pot holder. A little initial right there in the center would be great, all right? I can just lay it onto my hoop with my sticky stabilizer, scan it right in, and place my initial right where I want it, all right? Pretty cool. Brown threads into the bottom and match the fabric. Most certainly. We have to make it really fancy. <laughs> that's right. That's where it came from. <laughs> okay. Okay. So towels. Let's talk about those. All right. I am envisioning a nice H on here because purple is the color of royalty, right? Okay. So a gold initial, a gold H. Um, how I would handle this is um, I would actually hoop a 
tearaway stabilizer. That's my method of doing this. Okay, so you hoop a tearaway stabilizer in your hoop. That's all you need in your hoop. And then what I would do is I would use this wonderful spray here, 505. All right? Now, let's have us a little lesson on this 505. I don't want you to, I don't want to ever hear of you using this near your machine. Right? Yes. Okay, I'm sure you've been preached that too. Okay, what I do is I'll, I have been known to walk into a pizza place because I like their boxes. <laughs> All right? I say, can I either purchase or just have an empty box, an unused box? Okay? It has a lid. So away from my machine, I'll take my embroidery projects like this towel. I'll lay it in the box, pop my cap off, do a little spray. All right? Shut my lid on the box. Let the spray kind of calm down a bit. Just a few, maybe 15, 20 seconds. Just let it calm down. Because for those of us that have hardwood floors, and in those rooms, this stuff can get down on your floor, you know? And who wants to spend time cleaning up the stuff off the floor? All right? Um, some people say, well, I step out my back door, or I step out into the garage. That's your business. But just know that this stuff does go airborne, and it might get on your car or whatever. So that's why I use the box. It's the most efficient way for me to handle my embroidery. Yes? Is there any place to slide the Okay. Okay, so you just slide, like you would slide the towel in, just sneak your, okay, so it's a bigger bag. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, really nice. And you could, yeah. I spray the towel. I don't want to spray the hoop. You can spray the hoop, but it makes a mess. Yeah, it gets sticky and your hoop turns black and, and it just doesn't look very nice. Exactly. You get a fuzzy wuzzy was a hoop. No, because I don't spray much at all. I just spritz. I just hold my towel up. Or if it was in the box, I just kind of do this right here enough to hold it down. And again, with my pins, I really don't have to pin it. But I like to pin. I might put one, maybe two pins on each side of the hoop. I'm good to go. Okay? <laughs> and you can. You can use the basting stitch in the machine because the machine does have that option. You just tap the icon. It throws a basting stitch around it. You're good to go. So no need to pin. On the back? On the back of your embroidery? Yeah. You can hold your thread tail. Well, what I do a lot is I just hold my thread tail, and that way it, it's not just, you know, bearing it down into the, the fabric. Yeah, try that. Yes? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So I want my design in the center of my towel, maybe about two inches up from this band that's here, okay? So what I do is I can fold my towel in half, and right now I can finger press, but I've even been known to take it to the iron and just kind of give it a little press, you know, just to put a crease in it. And then um, I just use my lines on my hoop there and I'll just lay it down, okay? And then because I have, and again, let me go back to where I spray, okay? I don't spray the whole back of the towel. I just spray right where I'm going to stick the towel down to the hoop. Again, I don't want all that spray to get onto my machine or to get on my hoop. So. Okay, because it can pull the loops off of your towel. Yeah. Floriani is a really great product, and, and it's, it's really sticky, and I like that. I just can't use it for my towels. Yeah. All right. So now we've got our towel down on to our um, hoop, and we have one more thing that we need to do. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. This topping. You need a topping on top of anything that has a high pile to it, your fleece, um, your towels, any, anything, like I said, that has a high pile to it. 
Um, Floriani has a product. It's a topping. It's called Heat and Gone. This is my absolute favorite topping. Okay, let me tell you why. They make a wash away as well. Once that this topping is washed away, it, once you wash your garment or your towel, the stabilizer washes away with it. So therefore, I've had my um, stitches sometimes sink back down into my towel. With this here, what I do is after I embroider, I tear away from my design what I don't want as much as I can, and then I take my iron and just simply touch this stuff and it just melts away. It does not get on your iron either. Wow. This is called heat and gone. What now? Heat and gone. Yeah. And she was saying that uh, that she just didn't tear away enough, and she was trying to heat away too much. Yeah. Exactly. And even so, like your intricate monograms and things, I, I will take a pair of tweezers and if I can, get in there and pull that away. And so the, the less, th the better, you know. It's just, it's a... Okay, I've never tried that before. Never tried. Of course, I've never had any issues with it. So... Um, Okay, very interesting. And that's how I know. <laughs> no, this does not wash away. This does not wash away. Um, so if, um, and actually, I, I used to have a sample um, when I worked in the store. I left it there um, so other people can learn. Uh, so I did not tear this away, and I washed it and washed it and washed it and washed it, and it's still there. Yes? No. Yeah. It has to be the heat of the iron. Yeah. Direct heat. Yeah. 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 I had a I had a tech wrong with Texas. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. But okay, so what, what she said she uses is she uses a little iron that has a little triangle um, tip on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are really great. That's a really, yeah, craft yeah. iron. And uh, sometimes our irons are heavy. And, um, you know, if, if you don't want extra heat on, on other parts of your design for fear of scorching it or, or whatnot, you know, that, that's a perfect, perfect idea there. Great. Really good. No. Nope. I sure don't. Okay. And... So, and then I just want to mention a little bit more about stabilizer. Um, Baby Lock has a hydro melt. It's, um, so this is a wash away stabilizer here. And so that's all. And then Floriani has their water soluble. If you want to use the water soluble, there are times that you do need this. Okay, so now we've embroidered on our towel. I guess I could give this away too, right? <laughs> <laughs> and since we're talking about towels, I was so happy to see these over on the wall. These are from Dunrovin House. I love these towels. How many of you have used these? Okay, they make great gifts. They are just completely awesome. Okay, and um, so just showing you these. A lot of you have seen them. They're really great to embroider on. And these right here, you can just simply hoop your um, sticky stabilizer and throw it on top, and you're good to go. Or if you have a, a tearaway available, just kind of spray the back and stick it on. Dunrobin House. You want me to pass it around yeah. so y'all can see it? And there's a, a another one. 
So. I'll start with you so you can see it. Okay, and someone mentioned earlier when I was embroidering the bag for Vicky that um, we have these um, hoop guards, okay? They're little devices that will hold um, your fabric away from your needle so it doesn't get stitched down because I know no one has tried to stitch a onesie or anything or a t-shirt and stitched it to itself, right? Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so they make some. Um, for your regular hoops, and these are it here. Let me use the camera here. Okay, there you go. They just you hoop it with the product, and it just holds it away. So that's really really nice. Yeah, the the red plastic piece. Yeah. Okay, we're doing good. Let's put this over here position things around so I don't kick them around. Okay, so um, we've covered towels and Christmas is coming along, so um, I'll get to those in just a moment. Okay, so let's talk about hats for just a moment. How many of you have used the, um, the Durkee um, cap frame that goes into your regular five by seven hoop? Okay, just a few of you. Okay, let me show you. Who tightened this thing up? <laughs> okay, so I'm removing the inner part of the hoop. And I insert this right into my 5x7 hoop. And then what I do is I just tighten my screw. And uh, the way this works is I'm going to come over here and maybe you can see this. Okay, this metal piece here, uh, this unscrews, these wing nuts here unscrew, and you slide the hat in under that bracket, you, the bill of the hat, and then you screw the wing nuts back down, and it flattens the hat down. So it's different than you know, the old way of, w of the way we did this of just simply putting the hat on the 5 by 7 hoop and flattening it down ourselves and again using pins. So uh, I've really enjoyed using this product here because like I said it does flatten it down very, very good. Great, great product to have. Did you see how I caught that? Wow. <laughs> All right. Really great. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, the sticky stabilizer again. I get so excited about this stuff. All right, you're going to put a piece of stabilizer on the back. And as you can see here, let me bring it back to the camera so everyone can maybe see. And I hope you can see around me. Just barely, you know, you just need the bare necessities, just enough to cover the hole in the, um, in the frame, and you're good to go. Yes, yes. I, I love, absolutely love the Floriani stabilizer. Just, I, I can't say enough about it as well as their threads. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That that is the sticky stabilizer. Yes it is. Durkee. D U R K E E, I believe. What now? To my knowledge, at this moment, I just know it to fit this one here to fit into this baby lock hoop. Um, that would be so that's a good question. So the question was, will this fit in any other brand of hoop? Of course, the other B word. Um, those hoops would work as well, but I don't know that we have those machines here because we're all baby lock lovers, right? <laughs> no. Okay, um, maybe you should go sit in the back. No. no. <laughs> I, 
I don't know if I can stand you being so close to me now. <laughs> yeah, right? No, I kid. I'm just kidding. All right. And so, and then here's another hat that, that I did. And, th- and this is true. Every day should feel this good. I'd put it on, but I can't mess up the hair. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. What else do we have? Um, all right. Let's break out the, uh, the snap hoops here. Okay. These are really awesome. These are the magnetic hoops. Who's used them? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. They do stick together for really the magnetized really. Uh, they do have a little notch. Okay, so you have the top part. Ow. <laughs> so you have the top part, the green part. That comes off. It's magnetized, and it has a little um, tab there. Can you see that tab in there? Okay. I'm going to very gracefully pull this apart. Okay, now, whenever you're hooping something, this is great for hard to hoop items. So um, anything that I didn't want to use, um, you know, like the sticky stabilizer or anything, I could just hoop a piece of stabilizer in behind it, just lay it on top, and then magnetize that down. This is great for um, doing endless embroidery on hoops. I mean, um, hoops, quilts, anything. This is great. Love these things. It's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And I wasn't aware of this product. It's a hoop clip. It magnetizes to these hoops. And here it is. It's for caps. Yeah. This is a magnetic hoop clip, and here's the box. This is a five by seven size. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They come in all different sizes. There's four by four, five by seven. There's eight by twelve, eight by eight, and over there there's like seven by twelve. There's lots of different sizes, so you have flexibility in your hoops. So how this is going to work is on the back of this here, this bar here. There's a magnet in there. So what happens is, is I'm just going to put it on the bottom of my hoop, and I would then take a piece of, um, you could put stabilizer back here, your sticky stabilizer, of course, flatten your hoop down, and then embroider. I'm not the best at this camera deal, but there we go. There's how that works. No. Mm-mm. Sure doesn't. Yes. Okay. Well, this. Okay, I'm going to keep it real here. I'm just going to keep it real. So this is a clip, like a for like regular uh, a clip for paper on a clipboard. Okay. I would much rather, me personally have the dirty one because those wing nuts clamp down yeah. on that and it's going to hold my hat in, in place a lot better to me. Now, I haven't used this before. Okay. I've used the dirty. Okay. Now, on that, the question was, on any of these can you embroider the brim? I haven't done that. Um, really, your area, your area, I haven't thought about that. You could. <laughs> to the brim? You could do that. That's a good idea. All right. All right. I pulled those out. Okay. Some other um, holiday ideas. We've talked about the bag, and we've talked about the um, pot holder. 
and the hat, of course. I found these over on the wall. These are little holiday bibs. These are really cool. I mean, they're just ready to go. You just put them down. They have like a little terry cloth on the, on the back. That would be really, really cute with a little Christmas tree on it and some little cute little baby's name on it. Really, really cool. These bibs, eight ninety five. You want it? So, and if it has terry cloth on the back, then you're not going to use the explicit stuff. Right? I wouldn't. I would just kind of spritz it, um, the with back with five with five my five hundred five, and just stick it to my um, tear away so stabilizer. Mm hmm. Most certainly. All right. Is there something like this where you use the uh, cover or something? Um, I wouldn't use the cover on this side because the other side, okay, what she asked is she asked, um, would I use the topping on this bib? Now, if I was stitching on the side that has the terry cloth, of course, because it has a high pile. But on this side, on the other side, this fabric doesn't have a high pile to it, so I wouldn't. I'm not familiar with the, oh, she, she asked if the K2000, do you guys carry that? Product? Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, it's a temporary spray adhesive. Um, it, it, yeah, it would be okay to use. Yes. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, a basing stitch. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Any other questions? Unless you'd like to do it for me. Now look, I can't do everything for you. <laughs> okay, so moving on, um, I found this pillow in the back. I, I just, this store is so great, isn't it? I was walking around, and it, there's so much fun stuff to just see, and I'm going home with a lot of things. I bought a lot of thread. Not if we take it away from your purse. <laughs> All right, now, you got to find it first. Okay, so these um, I believe are from Embroidery Buddies as well, and uh, the, these pillow covers, you just unvelcro them, take your pillow out, and I can actually do this with my 5x7 hoop. I could probably either hoop it, or I could just, if it was me doing it, since we're dealing with hard to hoop items, just um, I would hoop a, a piece of um, uh, either um, tearaway or this right here because it is a pillow and I will probably will be laying on it and stretching it a little bit, you know, and moving it around, a um, cutaway stabilizer is on the back of this, and I really agree with that. Yeah, but same concept. Um, this is not a poly mesh. This is probably, um, this is more on the lines of a medium or a heavyweight here, and uh, that goes back into, you know, what weight of stabilizer depends on the amount of stitches that your design has and so on and so forth on that right there. So I thought that was really, really great. Oh, so there's the, okay, and then I'm going to just show you the back. This tree? I think it is. All right. Now, while I'm thinking about it, in this instance here, um, I don't know about a lot of you, but sometimes I like to, if I'm dealing with a pillow, I'll slide my hand inside the like, pillowcase or something when I'm sleeping. I wouldn't want to fill this stabilizer here. That I, I would fiddle with that. <laughs> so to keep myself from doing that, you can use a product. Um, that's not it. It's, it's uh, Baby Lock carries it, and then Floriani has one as well. Um, this is called soft stitch. It's a fusible um, stitch cover-up. It does work beautifully. And 
on those all those sweet little baby onesies you do and um, those shirts for your grandchildren and all, you, you always want to put this. I put this on all of my shirts. Um, it's on the back of this one here. Yes, what I do is I like to um, cut my pieces out, just cut it out just a little bit bigger than the embroidery design, yeah. and I cut mine out with rounded edges. So most of mine are in like an oval shape. Okay. That's just That's how I do it. It irons on the back. So you want to put your iron normally onto like a, a medium setting and make sure that the fusible side is down <laughs> and then iron it down. This is called soft stitch. And it does it also show through. There's Floriani one called Kendrick that's done under the Yes, that's Floriani. Yeah. Um, yeah, I believe that's. What year mold is this from? This is Baby Lock <laughs> software. You know, we get great mold. Software. <laughs> Stabilizer. <laughs> it's just a cover up. What was the question? I can't quite remember. Can you remember what the Floriani uh, Tender Touch, is that what it's called? That's sulky. Well, let me just walk back and look. I can't quite remember here. Well, uh, we'll, we'll look and we'll talk about that after the, um, the presentation. I'll make sure that we locate it, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be in the, in, the, in the lines of this name. Well, 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 well. I sure won't. Let me think about that. <laughs> I, th I thought about it. This is going to be one heck of a YouTube video, I'm telling you. All right. Let's put our pillow back in this form here before we get in trouble. We're going to have to have some... We're going to have to have some ratings on those videos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> no, I would definitely come back. You ladies have been awesome. And if you'd have me back, I'd definitely come back. Okay, so we talked about on the regular hoops, um, the, um, the hoop guards. They're also available for the magnetic hoops, wherever I laid it. Well, here's the top. <laughs> okay. Just pan it over top of the page a little bit. There you go. So they're also available for that as well. So no one is left out. <laughs> and, um, of course, they have your nice... Um, bracket here that still slides on just like your regular hoops uh, on the magnetic hoops. I just wanted to mention that. Okay, this has been really fun this morning. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, wonderful. Okay, this is Dreamweave. Let me show you. This is Floriani's uh, version of the um, that product we were just talking about. No, that's not. I was just kidding. I wanted to see if you guys were paying attention. Okay, so we'll we'll figure that out. So have no fear. No fear at all. Okay. What now? Have no fear. A, A Ron is here. That's right. That accent's sneaking out on me. Okay, so... um. Here's my Santa hat, and uh, I'm not going to put it on and mess up my hair. I can guarantee you that. Okay, so this is a, uh, in the instance where I would want to ha really have a free arm machine 
in my home. And I can't have one yet because Baby Lock says these things are in high demand and I can't have one. They won't let me have a cornet or an alliance yet. But you know what? I have a it's destiny and I have all, all sorts of things. <laughs> I'll just have to buy them. All right. So whenever you're dealing with a, oh, I have jumped right over. Let me make sure I'm finished over here. I am. I'm finished over here, so I'll let you come over with me. While he's coming over, let's talk about cleaning our hoops a little bit because I mentioned that it's not a, I don't recommend spraying the 505 or um, the other temporary spray adhesive spray on your um, hoop. So this remover here, this is Max Pro it's in this black can. It's located just on the other side of that open um, doorway there, just to the left on that little rack. And this is really, really great. You spray it on your hoops and it takes the sticky off. Yeah, it helps remove it. It's called Max Pro Remover. It's a citrus power spray. M A X. M A X. It says it removes marker, ink, sticker residue, scuff marks, pen, gum, and crayon. This will not melt. Um, the, the newer hoops, as um, what we, we were talking about earlier, um, these hoops, you know, for your machines now, it's good. You're good to go because he uses it. He actually uses this um, when he cleans the, the hoops and things in the tech room. Yeah. So just uh, wanted to mention that. And also on your Durkee frames, whenever you peel this off the back, sometimes it leaves that residue on there. So what you can do, you can spray this on, let it soak a little bit, and then, you know, wipe it off. Okay. Any questions? Is this a metal? Yes, it is. Here, I can pass it around. Yes, I'm going to start with you here. Yeah, it's 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 a really well-made product. I really enjoy it. How do you, where, how do you spray that? The spray. Yeah. Just put a rag around it. And yeah. Yeah, just, he just puts a rag around it and to make sure it doesn't drip anywhere, you know, if you spray too much. On the hoop, yeah. Okay, we're ready to go? Yep, good to go. Okay, so um, the Alliance is an awesome machine because it's it has the footprint of a multi-needle machine, like a 6 or a 10 needle, but it only has one needle and you have that access to that free arm. So it's really, really great. Okay, so you think about it, someone that's starting a small business or for even people in, in, the, in the home, you know, we may not need all of those needles because maybe we're just doing monograms or, um, you know, bags like the one that I just, I did. And Vicky's bag, looks like she's ran off. Vicky's, <laughs> Vicky's gone. <laughs> I gotta, she did, she took the bag and ran. Yeah. Oh, well. oh, okay. So that's what she's saying here. Okay. All right. So, um. All right. This is getting, this is, I'm getting all kinds of messed up here. We're having too much fun. You know what? We really are. All right. So we're almost out of time. So I'm going to mention this and bring this stuff up here. So this is also Embroidery Buddies. Look at this. Okay. Now, think about it. If you um, purchase Zachary the Zebra or um, the, uh, the stuffed animals, we could embroider, you know, and kind of fit their little hats on them. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now, how I would stitch this is with the Alliance, um, there's lots of hoops that come with it, small hoops like this. Let me bring it around. Okay. What I would do is slide that right over. And in this instance, and to keep from hooping, um, I wouldn't want to hoop this because I wouldn't want to get any hoop burn or any markings on my um, hat. So I would put a little piece of sticky stabilizer in here and just stick it down. 
and then just put it onto the machine and let it embroider out. Because what's going to happen is all I have to do is I take the this driver off. I don't think you ladies are going to forget me. No. <laughs> no, that's for sure. I'm going to think about you all the way home. Then when I get home, I'm going to tell everybody I know about the ladies I saw in Maryland. <laughs> and the way they drive. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that quick and easy. I've changed out my hoops because um, it, it has a, a separate driver. And see how easy that is? Okay, if you don't have an alliance, that's a lot more different, difficult. <laughs> but I know where you can get one. Okay, um, these little, I pulled these off of the floor, um, the showroom floor. Okay, these little sandals, these are really great. I can actually do these on a flatbed machine as well because they un velcro and I was talking about the key to all this stuff that's hard to hoop you just have to get it flattened out so you get it flattened out on the hoop and you're good to go okay don't shoot me we're almost out of time but don't shoot me uh, these are not the most stylish house shoes but I just want you to get the point okay I thought it would be kind of cool <laughs> oh you think so all right All right, and so what I would do is I would um, put an, ish, an initial about right here. So think about it, your grandchildren and things, um, Christmas Eve or something, you know, with their cute little pajamas that you've made them with your nice serger that I'm going to teach you why you really need this afternoon. Um, you could just take this and slide it right over and embroider them really, really easily with the alliance. Okay, and of course, we have our awesome stuffed animals. You have this size and you have the large size that they went over um, yesterday. So um, these are really, really cute. Um, I really want one for myself. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, and you ever, does everyone know how these work? Yeah, yeah. okay, good. No, no. You don't, yeah, you're, you're the new guy, ladies. I'm a new guy. Yeah, new guy, hey man, no. Okay, so you unzip their bottom. And I actually had the idea too, some other people may have as well. You leave the pillow out of it and put pajamas inside of it. Yeah. You take the pillow out and you can put pajamas inside and send it with the child to grandma's house or wherever. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, so once you take this out, you can actually, I've done a ton of these on the Alliance machine. Using the 4x4 four four hoop, you just simply take it and I would use a sticky stabilizer again. I told you that's your friend and my friend when it comes to hard to hoop items. So I just take it and I just stick it down to the hoop. Make sure, oh yeah. All right, so I think you get the concept. You're just sticking it down to the hoop and you make sure that um, all the other parts, the, uh, the excess fabric is out of the way. And I would put it in this way and let his head just flop around um, outside the alliance. It's pretty comical to watch. I haven't. Has anyone here um, embroidered fleece and used your sticky stabilizer? Embroidering fleece and using sticky stabilizer. Um, I assume you could. Have you? Yeah, because if I was doing fleece or something, I, well, when I do fleece blankets, I spray my 505 and just put it down to my um, either. Okay, there you go. Sticky's a little bit harder sometimes to get the peels off. 
Exactly. So it depends on what the item is, whether it's something you're going to wear or whether it's, you know, the rule of thumb is when you're using something stretchy like a cleat, you want to use a cutaway and not a tearaway. So this is a good thing. Right. That's right. Years ago, I did a lot of uh, horse blankets and, and saddle pads that were really thick, and I had to use thick stitches. And then I used to pull my hair out because the thread would break and stretch. But with the new needles and the new type of sticky paper, the stitching is sticking to right again. Yeah. And it really kind of works. <laughs> All right. It's been fun again this morning. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.